A desktop aquarium is an amazing addition to your home, office, or any small space that could benefit from a little extra relaxation and beauty. This one gallon tank was designed to be an easy introduction into the aquarium hobby for beginners. In this video, we will walk through step by step how to get your new aquarium up and running so that it can begin cycling. The first step is to unbox your aquarium and remove the setup guide and the packing materials that kept your tank safe during transit. It is important to place your aquarium on a stable and flat surface. We chose a table that is in a central part of our home. Let's remove the polycarbonate lid and set it aside for now. We can unbox the light and pump and place them next to the aquarium. These crucial tools will help your tank establish a stable biological environment for keeping corals. Let's attach the nozzle and tube to the pump and place them in the back chamber of the aquarium. Now that the pump and nozzle is securely in place, we can remove the three-stage media basket and add a filter floss pad to remove particulates from the water. Filter floss captures both large and small detritus particles and promotes clean and clear water. We then add biomedia. This allows for the colonization of beneficial bacteria. In a new tank, establishing a population of good bacteria is key to a thriving aquarium. Just slide the three-stage media basket back into place. And it's now time to add our substrate. For a reef aquarium, live sand is a great option. Live sand contains microorganisms that contribute to the nitrogen cycle and supports the health and diversity of this aquarium. You can use your hands or a tool to even out the sand bed. In this tank, we're adding in a live rockscape that will also help boost the nitrogen cycle. We chose a scape with lots of flat surfaces for coral placement and growth. Finally, the substrate and rocks are in and everything looks great, so it's time to add water. Slowly fill your aquarium with prepared salt water up to the top of the water level indicator. This can be found at the back chamber. Once we have the perfect water level, we can add Fritzheim Turbo Start 900, which is our go-to choice for adding nitrifying bacteria. Fritzheim Turbo Start rapidly removes toxic ammonia and nitrite and is a great choice for a new aquarium. Now we're ready to plug in the pump and light and observe the flow in the aquarium. Everything looks good, so let's place the polycarbonate lid back on the aquarium. This lid is responsible for minimizing evaporation in your tank and it's an essential tool for long-term success. Let's turn on the light. It's now time for your aquarium to cycle, a lengthy yet important process that creates a safe environment for corals, shrimp, and also fish. We recommend waiting several weeks with the light and pump running daily before adding marine life. Like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can follow along with this series and add your first coral, fish, and other equipment to fully enjoy the beauty of this one gallon desktop tank.